Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some really cool time changing effects in HitFilm 4 Express. So the basic idea of what we're going to be doing today is that normally when you want to slow down a certain part of your clip in HitFilm, in the editor at least, you'd have to cut out a certain bit that you want to slow down and then you'd have to slow that bit down and it would be quite a, an, an abrupt change from slow down to or from normal speed to slow down. So for example, I'm just going to drag my slice tool here, slice out this middle bit, then you can right click on your clip and select speed slash duration, make it something like 50% perhaps, and you can drag your clip back in, and when you play this back, probably won't play very smoothly now, but when you play it back, it'll cut from 100% normal speed to 50% slow motion, as you can see here and then back into 100% speed. But what if you want to make a smooth transition between the 100% speed and the 50% speed, or the slow down bit? Well, here's where you need to use the speed effect. So I'm just going to go into my clip here, in my media. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to make a composite shot out of that. I'm going to leave everything the same and I'm just going to click OK. Now I've already made a video about how to slow things down in HitFilm 4 Express, and that covers both the speed effect and the rate stretch tool. But today we're going to be looking at how we can animate the speed effect so we can get a smooth slowdown. So if we go into the effects panel, we can just search for the speed effect and we can drag it straight onto our video. And what we can do is keyframe the speed value over time so that it becomes slower and slower. So when you've got your speed effect on here, there's a slider that you can use to change how fast your clip plays back. So what we're going to do is open our layer here and under our effects we can select our speed effect and now we can see what our speed effect is doing over the course of our clip. So what I'm going to do is somewhere like here, I'm going to set a keyframe. So I've got a whole video on keyframing and it is required that you know how to use keyframe for this video. So if you don't already know how to keyframe, I'll link that video up in the description. But for now, all you have to do is click on the circle to start your keyframe. You place a keyframe there. Then you can go here and select your next speed, so 0.25 and that will make it quarter speed and then over here I'm just going to reiterate this with a just retype it in 0.25 and then back here I'm just going to set it to be 1 again and I think it'll be a bit laggy but when we play it back you'll notice that it goes from normal speed and it slows down not just because it's laggy but it should be just slowing down and then it'll speed back up into its normal speed so thank you guys for watching this video I hope this helped you out you can do this for all sorts of things. You can time it to beats of music and all sorts of stuff um, for dramatic uh, effect when you're slowing things down. So, hope this helped you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.